So today we're at Ikota. Um, we've signed a contract for our new building project, which is the Resource Centre. We're hoping to house a library in the building. We're hoping to house a computer centre and to have a little seminar training ground to do all sorts of training in. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, it's quite satisfying to get to this point, but we are very, very much aware of all the work that is still ahead of us. But this building is now ours. Um, yeah, this is the, the first list. time in a long time that all the directors are actually- Actually, yeah, in town at the same time. In town at the same time. Um, so, picked up the keys today. Um, the payments have been made on the year's um, lease. Um, as you can see, it's a it's space really that's really fit for purposes. Absolutely. We've got rooms for computers, we've got rooms for quiet, um, study. quiet study, a bit of office space. There is a lot of work that still needs to go into it to make it usable and user friendly. We have to paint, um, fit some of the tiles, do the rewiring, but we're really, really excited, we're excited. to be at this stage. Um, yeah, yeah. Shadi. I think one of the reasons why we're really excited is because it's going to have such a big impact on this community. So we can't wait. Yeah. We can't wait. We can't wait. Sent to, to start. I mean, we met with some of our parents yesterday, yesterday, and one of the things, challenges that they were telling us that they currently face is the lack of computers. So their children can come home mm -hmm. with the kind of schools that they're going to, and they're asked to do homework. On computers to go and do research and they were saying that they don't have computers at home but the schools have been patient and they've been quite kind in letting extending. the assignment extending the assignment deadline but it's not the ideal situation so you can imagine the amount of children that we're going to be impacting on Shadi was talking today about um, where she's staying and the, and the house boy there who's self-tutoring himself to sit the equivalent of the GCSE which is the SSE exams and she was asking him that what books do you want and and he said he wants books chemistry, with chemistry yeah, biology, biology you know so the the need is there the children want to learn so having a library and a computer center that's going to be completely free and somewhere for us to actually have training sessions with either teachers or some of our students yeah. also sometimes might need extra, extra tuition, tuition. And we can offer extra tuition in math and English, the subjects that we know that children struggle a lot in. Um, in this facility, every Saturday for two hours for the local community. It, it's an amazing subject and it's one that I really believe in and I'm very, very excited about. The challenges are many. We need to get this place up and running. Um, that means we need more people to keep supporting to keep supporting the Cutter project with donations. Um, we've been talking about books and sourcing books for the library, sourcing computers for the library. You know, so those are areas that we need, really need help, help with. Whether it's financial or contacts that can take lead us to people who will be able to sponsor Absolutely. English textbooks. We even had one textbook. person and just an ordinary person that said I was I would donate, donate a, a desktop. desktop. Yeah. And that will go a long way. So if we have about ten people donating desktop, that means that we don't we can spend our money on books and not desktop. So there's so many ways that people can get involved and, and help to, 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 to build this place and, and, and make it live and, and usable. Yeah. Um, should we take a little tour? A little tour, a little yeah. tour. So this is what we're hoping will be the um, training seminar session. So I'm really, really hoping that I can get somebody in to give either teachers training um, or to train on um, students in, you know, even vocation. Sometimes it's not just about the academics, it's yeah. about vocational training as well. I know a lot of uh, people doing art, in fashion, photography. In photography, things like that. I'm hoping that I can use this room as a, as a little uh, a training room. Um, for, for students. I'm also hoping one thing that's really close to my heart as well is that down the line, once this place is up and running, we can offer uh, a, um, a session where children who can't see can come in and learn brave to, to read um, so that another world can just be open to them yeah. and they can, they can have access to books too. So um, we have big plans and big hopes for this room. Yeah. And then we have this huge 
section over here, um, which I'm probably hoping, we haven't completely decided yet, but we're hoping this might be the computer yes. area suite. Um, I'm imagining just, you know, rolls of computers um, with desks and tables and chairs and internet, internet, access, yeah. internet access and people can study, they can do their research. And it's in a very accessible location. We were very keen to make sure that it was, it was accessible, accessible to, to, the the, to the local students. students. Yeah. This whole section here, we're hoping will be the main library. So we're just really imagining a space full of all sorts of books, academic books, from primary to secondary, secondary that children can access. My um, office. This my office. <laughs> this is my oh, office. Austin's office. This is a quiet. Austin's office is part of the training room. <laughs> there. This is a quiet study area. So our reading room. As our reading room. Children can come in here, sit down, and just quietly study. The only thing they're doing in this room is studying and reading quietly. Um, it's it's to be honest with you, it's, this is a this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Uh, if we weren't a charity, we'd be cracking open a bottle of champagne right now. But we are. But we can't afford it. <laughs> we need to buy books. <laughs> we need to buy books. We need to ship the books. That's why we can't afford it. But um, I, I have to say, at the moment, Austin is filming, so you can't see him. Austin has been very instrumental in us getting this building. Um, he's worked really, really hard. I think he, he had a soft spot for this building the minute he saw it. And even when I was saying, it's so expensive, go and look for another building. And he kept coming back to this building because it offered the most value for money in terms of we didn't have to spend so much to get it up and running as opposed to the other ones that we were finding that were maybe cheaper but we had to spend a lot to get it up and running so well done to Austin for keeping on top of everything um, really really a valuable 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 member of our staff thank you Austin thank you